Hi, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to do a deep dive into a topic that I refer to a lot, but we haven't really looked at uh, in any depth for, you know, over two years, so uh, at least in, in this class. So I'd like to uh, to discuss it and to get into really feeling what that what that does, because for me, it is essential to uh, the application of Taiji Tran. And it's not something that I think everybody is really uh, familiar with, that, that concept. I know it took a long time for me to come across the, uh, you know, that idea and, and why you know, and, and how it works so effectively. Because uh, so much of what we do has to, has to, uh, tends to move in the direction of contraction muscular contraction. So that is a pulling in. And also, in our, uh, usually when people have a stress response, there's a tendency to, to bunch up. And so whenever I ask someone to, to, to reach, there's a, a hesitance that they've got to actually extend, really reach out and, 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 and open up. And uh, because there's a lot of pre-conscious programming, some of it in, in our DNA, that says it's unsafe to open up to that degree. But it is where the power in Taiji Tran comes from, it comes from this, ex, this extension. And very little of Taiji is, is, is happening where you're moving you know, into, into more of a collapsed state. I'm not saying it, it's not it's not an absolute, but it's it definitely most of the of the power is generated in an extension, and it is the young part of the of the uh, of the of the movement, and that is you're moving from from here to out there, and. Uh, but it also requires that there be a yin component. That is, you must establish a foundation, something to reach from. So it's something that um, it kind of fits in with with a an idea I have about the way energy is uh, produced in 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 the system, and that is that there is a um, a yin and a yang, that is a yang expansion, a yin uh, contraction or retreat. And so a yang goes from a central point, from an established point and extends outward, and then yin brings it back home. And, uh, but there's a, a third pole there that we don't generally consider. And that is there's a neutral pole that is, that which the the motion comes from and come and returns to, you know, and think of it in terms of of um, involution that is taking form, and then evolution, which is returning to the to the center to that neutral place. In Taiji Tran, we that is the Taiji. That is that the undifferentiated somethingness that has infinite potentiality, but it does has not yet taken a, uh, uh, it's not yet moved into action. And the Taiji comes from the Wuji, from the undifferentiated nothingness, which is absolute potentiality, zero manifestation. So we've gone a step from uh, from that to it, we have manifestation, but it hasn't yet congealed into a recognizable form. To that, we have to kind of bring our mind to it and say, oh, that's a thing. And that kind of creates objects in the world. So the uh, this extension that I'm talking about here is different than pushing. When we push, there is inherent within that some contraction. That is, we're pulling back as we extend out. And so there's a, 
the what differentiated a push from a reach is the intention behind it. That is, if I'm pushing, I'm saying, get away from me. I'm, I'm reaching out, I'm extending, but so as to create space between me and the thing that that I'm pushing or the person that I'm pushing. Whereas reaching reaches out, uh, it extends in order to connect. So there's a, a, a difference. And in, when you do that, when you reach to uh, establish a connection, your muscles tend to relax and then you're more into your connective tissue system. So you're using your tendons, your ligaments, your sinews to do the, the job rather than muscular contraction. So your arm can remain, you know, quite soft while you are extending outward, yet it, whatever it has that, that relaxed quality, you establish your, the tensegrity of the system. That is, you're stretching the connective tissue a little bit so as to allow the energy to move through the connective tissue. And this creates uh, that power, that soft power that we, we revere so much in, in Tai Chi. So the, um, we, when we extend out, we want to have this sense of, oh, I'm reaching out as, so as to connect. Um, I've told a story before, but when I was learning boxing from Master Chen, he would, uh, he would say, oh, here's your coffee, here's your tea. You're, the idea is you're, you're, when you're punching, you're not trying to smash out there. You're just extending out as if you're offering someone a cup of tea. And, and so what that does is it, it creates a, uh, a reminder in your body that you're not supposed to, to bunch up in order to, to make that extension which is something that's happened when you're trying to push, there is that tendency to bunch up in order to, to do that. And it activates a, that pushing activates a stress response in the, uh, in the nervous system and kind of gets you into that tightness that we're trying to, to, to move beyond. So in the, uh, in reaching, there is, there is a, you're kind of stretching the connective tissue and you're and doing so you're opening the joints this allows the energy to move much more freely and so in we're, we're better able to create jin that is that soft power the effortless power of taiji when we do that we because jin has you know a, a, an insubstantial component which is this intention to reach that that intention to extend and, and open up and allow the energy to move where we want it to move. Then it also has a substantial component, which is the tendons and ligaments, the connective tissue, which then support this. And so we get the two together and we have a, an, effective, an effective power, but it's almost, it seems effortless in, in its ability to do work. So getting the uh, getting the intention uh, to to reach is something that is um, um, has to be done moment by moment, and. There, you can have multiple intentions at the same time, but to do that, you have to move into a superconscious state. You have to be able to shift out of your rational thinking mind and into that, that knowing without thinking state that I've talked about so often. So that's why we always begin by creating a, a the, that conscious feeling which then shifts the brain into a, 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 a different uh, into a different place, using a different part of the brain to well, actually using more of the brain, using the whole brain rather than a specific part, the tiny part that is involved in rational thought. And so, whenever you do that, whenever you make that shift, you're then able to place multiple intentions at the same time. So. Uh, 
and this is something you can see like any musician like say you know if if i'm playing guitar there's an intention to do certain things with my my left hand when i'm fretting the strings okay there's i have to have an intention for each note that i'm playing or each chord that i'm playing but there's also my right hand i've got i'm either strumming it with my you know finger picking or i'm strumming with a with, with a flat pick and and it's doing an entirely different set of of uh, of of actions from my left hand. I have to be able to do both simultaneously. And if I happen to want to be singing while I'm doing it, well, then that's 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 a third thing. And if I'm playing with other people, then I also have to be listening to the other people. Each of these things is its own intention. I'm listening to someone, you know, listening to other people that I'm playing with so that I stay in and um, sync with them, which then creates this effect of playing as like a band rather than one person. So each of these things is a separate intention. And in order to, to execute that, you have to be able to, to shift out of the, the very slow process of using the rational mind and say, okay, now I'm going to play a G chord. And uh, if you are thinking like that, then you are probably not going to be doing all those other things that need to be done. So we're, when we're doing this, I'm going, I'm going to be, do, we're going to be doing an exercise and I'm going to call out the different things, the different intentions that you want to activate, you want to maintain and you're, you do them and let them go and then do them again and let them go. And each time they, you do that, you're, you're learning to make these intentions very quickly and be able to handle multiple intentions at the same time. So you know without thinking. So you go and you can think about it later, but while you're doing it, you're in this state of knowing where you are able to just you grok it, you, you get the, you you don't have to belabor each point, but every time you consciously activate one of these intentions, you are contributing to the overall chin. If you can then get so familiar with these movements and so familiar with the in, ability to create and destroy intentions, at will, then it's something that requires, you know, a fraction of a second to to make happen. It's not something that you you have to labor at, but at, uh, that requires some familiarity. So what we'll be doing is something that is, um, we'll do it really slow and very deliberately, and just so we can get that feeling, and to then also tune into the energy that's being produced as we as we execute these these maneuvers and um going back to the yin so we want to establish our our foundation that is we want to connect up to the big chi and we act, uh, activate the three pillars we connect up to the the big chi and allow the you know the energy to move through us so it's not being entirely generated you know by muscular contraction we are able to then kind of piggyback into this flow of chi that we are creating by our structure and our alignment and our intention so let's uh let's stand up and let's do some of that okay let's stand with uh feet about about a hip width apart Begin with your weight in your heels. And just relax and let go. So let everything kind of hang. The only thing you want to do is reach up with the crown of your head. It's almost like you're hanging from a, uh, you know, from a string up there. But reaching with the crown, not the top of your head, but the crown of the head. So there's a simultaneous reaching, 
extending upward, so you're lengthening the neck, but you're also dropping down and hanging from that. So what we're doing here is we're establishing the wuji, the emptiness, formlessness that precedes the taiji. And so to get into the taiji, we're going to go into the three pillars. So that is shift your weight so you're in the balls of your feet. You're feeling that primarily. You're still feeling contact with the heels and the, the whole foot, but there is, you're primarily in the balls of your feet. You can kind of press down with your toes and feel those. In this exercise, we're going to be doing something that we were playing around with last week, and that is this conscious, conscious mindful doing. Doing without activating the, uh, uh, the stress response. We're getting into the sympathetic nervous system act activity, but without the stress response. So we're reaching with the crown of the head, weight over the balls of the feet, tucking your chin a little bit, and open the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. So feel that as poles in opposition, you're sinking down through the into the earth, through your feet. You're also reaching upward with the crown. And so we have these poles in opposition and this creates a flow that allows the energy to move. You know, the earth chi to rise up through the body, the heaven chi to come down through the crown and to flow through us. We become part of this conduit. Knees are soft, they're relaxed, not bent too much, but just unlocked. Relax your lower back and drop your sacrum. Point your index fingers and begin a wiggle. Just want to feel that connection. So we're activating our energetic coherence. Bring the whole system together as a unit. Reach with your elbows a little bit so your arms are just slightly rounded. And what this does is it opens up the shoulder joints and unkinks the hose in your shoulders. Rotate your hips so that you're releasing your hip joints. Nice and soft. Put the tip of your tongue and the roof of your mouth. And breathe through your nose. Inhale and exhale through your nose. And as you inhale, you want to feel the air moving in through your nasal passages, into your sinuses, and feel this part of your, your skull right there at the, you know, where the, your nose meets the rest of your face. Bringing the energy to your third eye, your upper dantian. This helps to bring the energy into the center of your brain, into the spirit valley between the hemispheres of your hemispheres of your brain. So just to get the get the feeling of it, I want you to just reach out. A little more with your elbows. Keep your shoulders relaxed and just reach out. And so just get that feeling of 
lengthening your arms and opening that and feel the effect that has on your shoulders. So here we're reaching with the elbows. Now relax that and bring the arms in. Still rounded, but not quite so severe. And just notice the effect that has on your energy. Feel the energy in your hands just by that simple motion. Try that again, reach with your elbows and feel the energy amplifying in, the, in your hands, in your fingers. Feel the increased blood flow just from that simple thing. What we're doing is we're unkicking the hose in the shoulders so that allows the chi to flow a little more freely. And then relax and bring your arms down and still rounded, but more relaxed. Feel your fingers and reach down toward the floor with your fingers as if you want to touch the floor. Feel like your arms are uh, very plastic, very elastic. You're extending downward and, and like your fingers are growing very long as they're reaching down to touch the floor. And then relax that and bring that back. Good. Sink into your heels as you relax that. And so we're going into a yin here, a yin phase. So there's, that is the energy is returning back to a calm center. We did, when we reach down, we're doing a, a yang extension. And go back into the balls of your feet and reach down with the fingers. Open the joints, feel that your joints and your fingers, your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, everything is opening up and feel the chi that's in your hands as you do that. Now sink into your heels and relax and let that go and return back to a calm center. You're still gonna feel a lot of chi there in your hands but it's a different flavor, not as excited as the yang chi. It's, you're feeling the yin chi now. It's more of a calm flowing river rather than the rapids that you might feel with the yang impulse. And I want you to reach with your wrists. So go into the balls of your feet and then bend your wrists so that you're bending them so you're, you're Fingers are hanging. So you're just reaching with the wrists and just feel the effect that that has on your energy. Feel it throughout your whole body. Feel it in your head. Notice the effect that's having on, 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 on your connection there. And then sink in your heels and relax. You with the balls of your feet and reach with the wrists. Fingers are just very relaxed. They're hanging. Shoulders are relaxed. You're reaching and feeling the effect that that's having on your on your energy. And sink back into your heels and. Return to that calm center, back to the yin. Notice that each of these has a different feeling to them. Your wrists, your fingers, your elbows, your shoulders, everything, all those, those areas, those joints have different, different feelings to them. The energy feels different. So we want to be able to bring them all together, kind of like a jazz combo, and we're bringing all these different sounds together. 
you want to tune that up so that every everybody plays nice together. But we're always returning back to the three pillars. Central equilibrium. Energetic coherence. Sun Kwa. That is your sinking down. So that's our base. We're very slow. We're kind of like sitting down in our legs. Breathing through the nose and feeling the, the breath as it moves up the nasal passages and into the, into the sinuses. And from there it goes down into your lungs and uh, goes into your blood and circulates throughout the whole system. So we're bringing this, this very lively, fresh chi to every cell in your body by circulating like this. This is renewing the whole system. This is restoring your vitality. And now we're going to bring the right arm up to the side. We're going to do it very slowly and very deliberately. So reach with your right elbow to very gently and feel the effect that has on your body. And you bring them, relax that. Now I want you to, uh, you're in the heel, I want you to sink into the heel of your right foot, reach with the right elbow, open the shoulder joint. And notice that you're starting to fill up your right leg as we do this. So now, Reach, reach with the elbow. Now reach with the wrist. Your right wrist nuts coming up and your fingers are hanging. And feel the effect that's having opening your shoulder joint. You're lengthening your arm. So we're really allowing the connective tissue to, to to, uh, to stretch out there. We're feeling that tensegrity. And this is where the reaching is. We're reaching with that wrist up to about shoulder height and feel that extension there throughout your, your chest, feel it all the way down to your right foot. Feel the ball of your right foot. Now you're sinking to the ball of your right foot and you're reaching out there. now. Reach out with the fingers and open and extend out. Reach as far as you can with that, with, uh, with your fingers. So you're really opening up the chest, the shoulders, and feeling that extending all the way down through your legs and into the earth. Now sink into the right heel. Reach down with the right elbow. Fingers come up a little bit as you reach down with the wrist. As if your, your hand is floating down. And go back to you wait 50-50 in the heels and feel the yin. Elbows slightly rounded, but we're back way back to the yin. So we're getting a chance here to really explore the yin chi and the yang chi. The yin movements and the yang movements as we do this. Taking our time to be able to really examine, to feel the flow of, of energy as we do this. Now reach with the, sink into your, in your right heel, sink into the right heel, reach with the right elbow, reach with the right wrist. And fingers are hanging. Reach, open the shoulder, feel that lengthening, reach with the fingers, open. 
notice that my body is over my right leg. I'm rooted very solidly. My central equilibrium is now right over the, the ball of my right foot. What I'm not doing is this, right? I'm keeping my, my body vertical, rooted over the inner part of my right foot, my medial line. And now you're going to sink into the right heel, elbow comes down, reach, reach with the elbow, reach with the wrist. Reach with the fingers. And continue across your body. Now reach with your wrist. Fingers hang. Reach with your elbow. Reach with your fingers and open. You extend and kind of look at your fingers and your head's turned to the left now. You're reaching to the left. You're in your the ball of your left foot. And feel that young extension as you do that. Now sink into your right heel. And turn. Reach with your right elbow body as your arm comes across your body reach with your right wrist elbow now reach more with the wrist open reach with the fingers extend keep your body vertical reaching with the crown of your head feel that young extension in the ball of your foot and now sink into the heel and reach down with your elbow. Down with the wrist. Fingers. Left heel. Sink into the left leg. Reach with the right wrist. Right elbow. Turn. Extend, and then right heel, right elbow, wrist, fingers, right ball, ball of the right foot, reach with the wrist, reach with the elbow, reach with the fingers, feel that extension. And you can do right heel, elbow comes down, reach with the elbow, reach with the wrist, reach with the fingers. You can feel into both heels, the weight's 50-50, feel the yin. Feel the difference between your right arm and your left. My right arm feels like it's about an inch or so longer than my left. Let's balance those out, shall we? A left heel. Up into the left ball. Reach with the left elbow. Wrist, fingers, reach, open, central equilibrium over your the ball of your left foot, feel that extension, open your chest, open your shoulders, feel the lengthening of the tissues in your arms. Feel the chi circulate. Feel that yang chi, that yang expansion there. Now sink into the left heel. Reach down with your elbow. Down with your wrist. 
down with the fingers. Sink into both heels, weight 50 50. And feel the yin. You have the left heel, left elbow. Reach with the left elbow, reach with the left wrist, reach with the left the fingers of the left hand and open. Then and uh, sink into the left heel, left elbow reaches down, reach down with the right left wrist, left fingers, feel the right heel, reach with the right wrist. Left. Left wrist, sorry, left wrist going to the right. Reach with the left elbow. Fingers reaching open. Feel the shoulder open up, feel down your torso, down your down through your body and spiraling down into your right foot. Think into the right heel and turn reaching with the left elbow as your body turns. Now feel your left heel, turn, turn, and into the ball of the left foot, reach with the elbow, reach with the wrist, open and extend. Left heel, reach down with the left elbow, left wrist, Fingers. And right heel. Right ball of the right foot. Reach of the wrist, the elbow, the fingers. Open. Left heel. Elbow. Reach of the wrists, reach of the fingers. Left ball, reach with the elbow, wrists, fingers open. Left heel, reach down with the elbow, reach with the wrist, reach with the fingers. Take it to both heels. Feel the yin returning to center. Feel the fullness of the energy, but feel the, the different flavor of energy, the, the yin flavor. Allow that energy to circulate throughout the whole body. Breathe through the nose, tip of the tongue and the roof of the mouth. Feel your three pillars, the central equilibrium, energetic coherence, the sung kwa, your open, um, unkink the hose. You know, your, your shoulders are relaxed and open, your neck, your jade pillow gate, your hips. Now sink into your right heel, bow down to the left. You're loading up that right leg. And step into the left foot. Go into the balls of your feet, reach of the elbows, reach with the wrists, and come up. Feel that yang expansion, 
on the balls of your feet, reaching up. Now sink into your heels and reach down with your elbows, your wrists. Feel the yin and throw all the energy away. Dissolve into the emptiness. Relax in that emptiness for a moment. For a moment. Feel your breath in your nose. Feel your lower Dantian as you breathe. Please have a <laughs> good. Is there anything you'd like to share? <laughs> it was really opening, like like the the inner space or something. Like I was feeling like a cloud inside, like holding the space, and it was feeling like the cracking inside the little areas. Super relaxing and but very like very experiential. Beautiful, beautiful, great, thank you. Valerie. Um, I don't think, first of all, this felt, at least today, very different for me. I experienced some things that was like, huh, I haven't felt that before. Um, my limbs, in particular, my arms trying to, you know, letting them float up. I've never felt them so heavy. And that just because usually I can't get my upper back and my shoulders to relax enough to. And I had a chiropractic adjustment right before class. So that could add to the experience. I will qualify that. But my arms were very heavy. I mean, you know, I could get them up there, but it was like, do I really want to? <laughs> do they really <laughs> want to go up there? And I remember at one particular point when um, I was reaching with my left hand and I was in my uh, left, right ball of my foot. There was a circulation between my left hand and my right hand that was remarkable. I, it was, I mean, I felt circulation before, but this was really heightened. It was um, enough to, like I said, go, huh, I've never felt that before, not in this way, and perhaps not to that full extent. It was very cool. I, <laughs> It was very cool. I, I, but yeah, there was a sense of amazement, and this one was for Lynn because Lynn usually has some of these things to say, and that's what I thought. I thought if Lynn was here, she'd be feeling the same thing, <laughs> <laughs> and she'd probably say it better than I am. Or express. She said it eloquently. Oh well, thank you. But well, thank you. That was um, that was really, really good, profound, and deep. Wonderful, wonderful, good. It's good to do simple movements like that, and really be able to like focus on the the the, the little details, so that we can isolate the different qualities of energy that get produced with these things and also to notice where where we're bunching up our our own uh you know, you know our bodies and saying oh yeah well I, I don't need that particular tensus in my scapula to make this uh 
to make this motion work, I can let that go. Yeah, so great. Thank you. Debbie. I, I felt, uh, I think, a little bit like Valerie in, in that it was very heavy, and yet it still felt very empty, which I'm still trying to wrap my head around because I, I don't have the words to, to describe it. But the, um, the, the rush of heat that I got was really amazing. The mm -hmm. energy that was created there was, was really something else. But it was also really helpful to me this time to, 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 for you to go through that we were feeling the, um, you know, the, the focusing with, with Yang on the, the ball of the foot and with Yin sinking down into the heel of the foot. And that just seemed to make the, the, um, the lengthening, the, the, the path of the energy through the, from the fingers all the way down into the ground, much more, um, I was much more aware of it than I have been before. So thank you. That was really helpful. Wonderful. Good. Thank you. That's that. That's really good feedback. Appreciate that. Scott. Wow. That was, uh, that was really intense. Um, it was really, um, I mean, there's so many things still going on in my body. It's like, I can't, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll pick the first five to tell you about, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, it, yeah, it was, um, well, the one thing I did notice is I had to keep, and as you were saying, I had to keep notice watching because my pelvis would keep untucking. But as soon as I did, it would be like, what a, you know, just a flood of energy. Mm, beautiful. Yeah. And um, when you, <clears throat> by the time you got to the end of the right, I was like, Rick, get me to the left already. It was, <laughs> it was I don't know about anybody else, but it was uncomfortable. The difference was uncomfortable. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. That means you that means it's working. <laughs> one one other thing, and I don't quite know what's going on there, but um I was I mean, I'm barefoot, but we we've got thick carpet and good padding but my heels were actually, it felt like I was standing on concrete. My heels were actually hurting. Mm. I guess I was just so sunk into, I guess I was just so sunk in. I just, I sunk all the way down to the, the cement underneath or something. No, yeah. I, I had to keep moving my feet for the same reason. My mm. feet were getting, um, it was uncomfortable. You know, it, I think that it was uh, tied into the heaviness like he's talking about. And mm -hmm. so I would, you know, shift from foot to foot and lift the heels a little bit and then lift the, you know, uh, front of the foot a little bit. Um, but I mean, it wasn't enough, uh, to make me want to stop, but that that's funny. You said that because I noticed the, the same thing. And I was wondering if it was bugging him because I, I kept moving. Well, I didn't know that was an option. I just, I just powered through it, and oh. my heels hurt most of the time. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna power through pain. I mean, it wasn't <laughs> painful, but it was distracting. It was like, uh, um, lift the foot a little bit, let that energy move. Yeah, what what it tells me, the first thing the thought comes to my mind um, is that the heaviness. And 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 that 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 also tells me that there was a a very deep sung going on there. Mm -hmm. You know, when your arms get oh so heavy, that means that you are really letting go of muscular tension and you're making this transition to you know doing it with the connective tissue system. But your brain takes a little longer. <laughs> To get the story right, to get to, to catch up with the narrative, because mm -hmm. it says it's still going off of old program. It says, "Oh, I'm tired," or it's you know that's too heavy or whatever. Because that's the that's the it it uh, it learns by pushing against stuff and feeling the resistance. That's how that's how brains learn. They kind of bound against stuff and whatever they some they. Uh, the resistance they get from it that tells them, oh yeah, there's something there. 
And here we're doing the opposite of that. And it's like, it's like, what's going on here? So the, it, it's still trying to, to, to sort it out, said, oh, this is really heavy, when, but, but the arm's going up. How's that, how's that possible? You know? <laughs> so this, this, what it says, what it tells me is there's, that you're doing a, a really deep, deep sung there. You're letting go of a lot of muscular tension and your body now has to learn how to, to read those signals that come with that much sung. It's like, oh, okay, I have to talk about, we have to change the conversation now to, uh, to include this whole other range of experience, which was unfamiliar before. Yeah, Scott. Well, it's funny you say that because towards the end, my, you know, like I said, I powered through it. I didn't, I mean, I would shift a little bit forward if it was really bothering me, but I pretty much powered through it. But towards the end, I think my body was finally getting it and it kind of went away. So it's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right towards the end. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. You got a class nope. getting ready to start there, Leticia? <laughs> Maybe. I guess so. <laughs> but I, I want to I want to say that um, yes. you know when we when we do these classes like this, even though it's on Zoom, it can be so tremendously powerful. And I know we you know sing your praises all the time, but I want to oh, sing sure. your praises once again for that particular experience that you know leading us into that because it was. Like I said, it was quite profound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been doing this a long time. And to, and that's what's wonderful is to be able to get new experiences. It's not the same old thing all the time. With you, it's always different, you know, <laughs> and, uh, we, we and delightful. <laughs> so it's just, it's, it's just, it's great. It's just great. great. I appreciate it. I'm going to turn that around and sing your praises as well, because you give me permission to do stuff like this, which is something you can't do with most people. Who come to a no, but... you, like, you can't do this stuff. You, you know, it requires somebody who has a tolerance for this kind of detail and this amount of internal awareness that uh, is it's, you know, that's that's. That takes, you know, that's a special type of uh, a person that that's even interested in this kind of thing. So I want to thank you for giving me the, creating the space for this to happen. Bye, Leticia. Great to see you again. Yeah, more, more, more. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is uh, more, more. this is a direction we're headed. So uh, I like know, the direction. Uh, people uh, on YouTube are enjoying it, and uh, uh, for those who are checking in, send me. Send me your feedback. Let me know if you like it, and I'll uh, we'll uh, carry on. Let's do this again next week. Bye bye. Love you. Thank you, bye. Maria. Thank you, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria. I love happy you. Maria. Late happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you.